hello welcome to a new unboxing time and maybe an arting time let me explain but yes today we're going to be going over some of the items that i got uh, from art snacks i previously got some of these items and i don't remember if it was uh, during the same sales event that i had but i found out uh, a couple of days ago that they still have this sale which is the um paper fest 2023 um, sell by Art Snacks where you can save 40% off some of the paper and sketchbooks that they have. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, you know what? Uh, I need to share <laughs> that sale in case some of you um, are looking for maybe new paper to try or maybe you want to reorder a sketchbook or a paper from a brand that you like. Uh, so yeah, so I wanted to do this quick video, kind of unboxing what I have. So let me just show you. Before I go over each of these items, I'm going to unpackage them just so that uh, we don't have that much reflection. So let me come back. <laughs> and we are back. So let's start with these. These are watercolor uh, postcards. And this is a brand that I tried previously. Uh, let me show you here the information. This is by Hanne Mule, and this is a German brand. Uh, this has um, how many postcards? Let's see. It has 30 uh, white paper um, watercolor postcards, and they are 230 GSM, acid free, right here. Right there. And I previously got a couple of their sketchbooks, which I loved. Uh, so I wanted to see how these postcards looked. I love the tin um, container here. Oh, wow, it's a very nice paper. I really like, it. Um, it's not too thick, but not too thin either, right there. And it has a little bit of tooth right there i wonder if this is cold press or hot press. cold press yes so it's cold press paper and these are 4.1 by 5.8 inches right it's a beautiful beautiful paper um right here and we have some lines over here as well as a division where you can play place over here your your stamp and send maybe these to to a friend right there so i really want to try the paper but next let me show you i also like the beautiful uh, watercolor painting right there by a arandila aradla and it also has here in the corner the logo of the brand beautiful i definitely like their sketchbook so i cannot wait to try this paper up next it's another brand that i've tried previously a similar burn they have about seven different types of pa papers uh, they call them series and this one is the cedar series i previously used the beta series in different types of uh, formats uh, let me show you um, this. I think these were the first sketchbooks that I got from that brand. Um, and what I mostly did was to uh, swatch and do some watercolor paintings right there. And this is Beta. It's a Beta series. And let me just read a little bit about the Beta series. Um, it's extra heavy weight paper, 200 GSM, white paper cold press, so it's perfect for watercolor, as well as other dry and wet media, as well as ink. I haven't tried ink yet on this type of paper, but I really love how my watercolor um, displayed here. And it's, it, it is a white uh, paper, but it also has like kind of like a, I would say creamy, not really white like a copy paper. This is another beta uh, series sketchbook in another size. 
and I also used it for uh, watercolor swatching and painting right there. Uh, I really love this paper, so And now let's see the paper for the Cita series. The Cita series is extra heavyweight also, as similar to the Beta series. Um, similar, actually the same GSM. However, the surface is smooth. It's also a white paper and you can use it also for watercolor and ink. Let me show you a sketchbook where I use a uh, wet medium here. Here is my sketchbook. Uh, this is a hardcover uh, Sera series, and this is a soft cover. Now I'm getting more soft cover sketchbooks since they are less heavy. And um, I realized after getting so many sketchbooks that are, were hardcovers that are, they're not only heavy to carry, uh, but also uh, they're heavy for uh, your bookshelves if you want to store them there. So that's the reason why I'm getting now self cover uh, sketchbooks. But moving along with uh, how different medium um, behaves on this paper and looks also because this is a, a white, very bright white paper. Uh, so here are some samples. I use here acrylics. And these were just color studies that I did previously a long while ago. Uh, here as well. These are just some ideas that I had for some paintings, like this one for my son's room. And here, are, like some thumbnails to kind of like help decide a color palette. Um, and all of this is acrylic, right there. This is from a trip that I took to uh, Long Island. No, not Long Island. Los Angeles, um, two, three years ago, I think. And then, so that's acrylic. And then this is wash right there. This was inspired by a, a flower arrangement that I got from my husband, I think from our anniversary a year or so ago. And here's also wash. And this is a color studies that uh, um, I did alongside Char from Blue Shine Art. Uh, she has amazing workshops, especially if you want to um use your sketchbooks all of these i um i basically completed thanks to uh that workshop um she does like 30 days uh, and uh, challenges so i really recommend uh, that check her out on instagram uh, but yes and i think we mostly use wash during that workshop um, I didn't use watercolor here because watercolor I think I mostly dedicated um, using the uh, the beta series for these type of sketchbooks right there this is core uh, watercolor and I love how this watercolor looks on this paper And this is more mostly to swatch uh, the different uh, colors that I got on that set. But yes, so I got this sketchbook and I really wanted to to get more of these because now I mostly use Moleskin um, sketchbooks. And um, so I wanted to get these to use mixed media as well as um, use other type of sketchbooks aside from Moleskine. So yes, I got that. Now I have a couple of these thanks to this um, sales event that Art Snacks has. And up next, let's check the next brand. So this time around, I got a couple of the uh, art creation. Oh, I think it's called Royal Talents uh, sketchbooks. This is a brand from the Netherlands and the first sketchbook that I got from that brand was this little one. Look how tiny it looks in comparison. Um, let me see the specs. So this is a 5.1 by 8.3 inches sketchbook. And it's um, 
140 GSM or 90 um, LB and it's acid free. This one has 80 sheets uh, and this also has 80 sheets and it's a much bigger sketchbook. This is an 8.3 by 11.7 inches and it's the same um, 140 GSM. And um, just to see, let me show you actually here. This is a much warmer <laughs> surface in comparison to um, to this sketchbook from the Stillman and Burn. It's a definitely different experience and also different uh, colors and uh, supplies look different. And I, I like that we have this contrast in color of paper. Um, depending on my mood, you know, I just pull one and then, you know, uh, I, I use uh, a specific uh, color or art supply to, to try on that paper. But yes, so this is a much warmer uh, paper and also thinner, as you can see. Uh, I did use previously, um, a, I think this is watercolor right there, and this is also uh, an exercise that I did um, with another amazing artist, Beth Spencer, and she has very uh, cute and fun um, art sessions. So I'll also include her Instagram. Um, but yes, so this is uh, something that inspired by a zoo visit that she had. And I use here a watercolor. Let me look for other. I tend to use mostly, uh, I don't know if you can see here, um, highlighters. Uh, however, I also use, um, this is a wash. Um, oh, this is, what is this? Is this? I think this is, um, let me show you, Pan Pastels right there. And this, this is also another uh, session. This is actually a, pa a Patreon session with uh, Beth. Um, this is wash. And this is, I think, washed by um, Windsor and Newton. Um, this is a color um, study that I did. And I think this is wash as well. I should write <laughs> more over here. Oh, and this is also wash. Right there. These are just um, sketches, fashion sketches that I, I found most likely on Instagram, I think. Like the model's um, photography. And sometimes I use the poses and then different outfits either from another Instagram post by a fashion brand or a combination of things. So I don't remember exactly where I pulled this, but, um, and then this is wash, definitely. No, this is acrylics actually, because it's a little shiny. Um, and this is, yeah, Windsor and Newton wash right there. This is Liquitex. So I tend to try and swatch first and see how a specific um, medium behaves with that specific paper. As you can see here, I'm gonna just play a little bit with that, the color combination. Uh, and then, um, Trying to figure it out. I think these are markers and highlighters with wash and color pencil. This is, mm, is this watercolor? I don't know. This is mostly like um, a marker where I added water on, on it. And the pages get a little wrinkly, but I'm okay with that because this is just like for play and have fun. Oh, look at this. This is watercolor for sure. This is another session with Beth. Uh, do we have any more watercolor? 
Hmm. I think this is wash. Hmm. Is this watercolor? Most likely it's watercolor. But yes, so as you can see, sometimes I dedicate my, my sketchbooks to workshops or fashion um, sketches. But yes, so this is the uh, Art Creation Royal Talents sketchbook. So I like this size and I started with this size, but now I really want to expand and, and use a much bigger surface. And here's a sketchbook that I got also from Art Snacks during another sales event that they had. And let me just show you here how it looks on this much bigger surface. Uh, this is um, a sketchbook that I did inspired by one of my rabbit characters. Uh, I used Caran d'Ache um, wax pastels and these are water soluble but I just wanted to use them as dry media right there and this is an study that I did inspired by uh, Yoshito Monara I love his work so I don't know <laughs> I was reading his book one that I got from um, from his exhibition at LACMA I got that as a birthday present and I just this came out of that <laughs> as well as these. I think he has one of his characters holding a balloon like that and he has like a shadow similar to this, uh, but I use one of my car my characters. But yes, so I just wanted to show you um, how uh, certain um, supplies use on the different color paper. And now I think what I want to do before I move to trying each of these papers together is just show you the difference of color between each of these papers right there. And then, so this is the Royal Talents right here. This is the, um, the watercolor postcard by um, Hane Mule. And then this is the Steelman and Burn Cedar Series paper right there, just so you see the color difference. And again, um, I tend to use different sketchbooks with different papers depending on the art supplies I want to use or the mood that I have. Um, but yes. And now we're gonna start the artist session part of this video. I didn't want to just have it um, an unboxing and showcasing of whatever I got here, but I also wanted to use some of my uh, supplies um, and show you how they behave and showcase on these papers. But before that, I wanted to show you this little friend. Uh, I got this pouch also uh, from the um, Art Snack Shop. I got a coupon code um, based on my rewards. So I wanted to get this one for the longest. And I love the color. It's such a cute, cute design as well over here with their logo. And they also sent a couple of their um stickers so cute but yes so here i have uh, some of i basically pull one of the markers that i have from each brand so um i'm gonna swatch some of these on these three papers right here so let's do that and at first we have a Montana acrylic marker. It's almost dry right there, but I really like that color. And I sometimes use my finger to here I never use this uh, on watercolor paper but right there 
and then this is my favorite um, brand adding um, also an acrylic marker and that's my favorite color on that brand and I also use my finger too it's a little dry I have two or three more of this brand of the same color but somehow I <laughs> I grabbed this one. All right, isn't this beautiful? Oh wow! It went very smooth on this paper. Nice. So another type of marker. Well, this is a highlighter that I use. Is this Sharpie highlighter? right there I really like how they they be they like the markings here on the on the watercolor paper next another marker uh, stabilo this pastel yellow Very smooth on that paper. My puppy behind me is very upset at me for making these noises. <laughs> okay. Sorry, puppy. And you have this Ecoline um, 580 brush pen. Mm, I forgot what this is. Is this like a watercolor brush pen? I don't remember anymore. I do remember that if you, yeah, if you go over these papers, these two especially, two or three times, the, you start seeing the papers starting to, can you see that? Yeah, let's see the watercolor paper. Yeah, same thing. Um, however, once they are dry, you just go with your finger and then it wouldn't look like this happened. So, up next, ooh, another brand that I started to try recently is this Faber-Castell watercolor marker and it's a beautiful blue it's very similar to this but this, this is definitely warmer and brighter right there and then here on the watercolor paper um, I'm gonna Try this other sharpie i like this color right there and then um this is not a marker but it's a gelato which i use a lot right there and what i also do is i use my finger right there to create texture or two nice and then here oh so creamy beautiful what else uh, oh let's try this copy sketch marker Hello, editing B here. I had to edit this part of the video uh, because of the scratchy noises of the Copex in comparison to the rest of the markers. So let's continue with the rest of the video. Nice. Yeah, mostly because of the smell is very, the, the smell is very strong. Uh, and also because they stain, like there is also a bleed usually. This is a very thick paper, so. You can see that there. 
most likely you will see it here. okay never mind yeah you will see it here for sure and a little bit here on the watercolor paper so i don't mind however yeah it's, the smell is really strong so i stopped buying those uh now we have this brush design pen pentel and i think i got this one on a on a uh, art snacks box I like getting those boxes, especially when they're like 50% off or buy one, get the other free. They have um, sales events for those and um, it gives me a chance to try new art supplies. So, oh, did I try this one? The Duo Tip Ecoline um, marker on this color 533. And it's Let's try this one. It's a beautiful blue. Mm. This is one of my first um, markers, and I got these for an art class in college. And it's dry. <laughs> I, I, I saved it because, I don't know, it says good memories from all my art classes there. Beautiful. I don't remember the name or what type of pen this was, but and now we have a Zeke uh, Clean Color Dot marker. And I mostly use this one for um, journaling to help me with bullet points and lists. But it doesn't look that bad. There, I may use it for art in time. And this is a marker that I got at Ikea. It's a whiteboard marker, Mala. And I, at that time I wanted to try every marker possible, so I got everything that I found that I was on sale anywhere. So right there. It's a nice color. Um, this is another Zeke um, brush pen, clean color, and I like this color as well. It's a 402 green marker. He makes like very nice marks right there. An OG Tombow dual T pen. Yeah. I used to use this a lot. Um and I have I think most of the colors, but now I don't know. I usually use them for uh, when I use my Hobonichis. They go very smoothly on my Hobonichis. Um, for when I do some art journaling there. So I don't tend to use them on other sketchbooks. I don't know why, but yeah. What else can I try here? Oh, I have this Le Pen uh, pen, I guess, right there. And I, I also got a bunch of these in different colors, um, just to have different line work on. I don't use them that much though. 
sadly. I tend to go for my microns, but now I'm trying not to use microns anymore. And instead I use, um, oh yeah, I didn't. I have more markers here. Uh, these are the markers that I take on the go and they are in this pouch right here when I go to art museums and such go to the farm or when I just walk and this is a black wing um, pencil but this is not a pencil I like to use um, hold on This is what I tend to use now for um, line work. My um, Caran d'Ache Luminance color pencils. And look at this. Yeah, these are the two that I use the most, as you can see. But I cannot find the other, my Stellar AB pencil. It's somewhere. Hmm. But yeah, that's the one that I use now for quick sketches. And this that one was replaced with this one. But yeah. And now let's try this Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 Aquarelle uh, Wax Pastel. And this is a nice color. And yeah, I can add um, water on these, but... I don't know. I don't know if I will add water now. I tend not to use water when I use my wax pastels from Caran d'Ache. Right there. Um, this is another favorite one. Favorite pastel pit pen um, brush is the uh, Ultramarine 120. I love this color. Ah, so beautiful. And I want to get more when Art Snacks had another sales for markers. Um, I think it was for markers. And he was sold out. <laughs> ah, he was so sad. But yeah, he was sold out. Right there. So I think that's all, all what I'm going to try for now. So let me show you. This is how it looks on this paper. The... Royal Talents sketchbook and this is the Stillman Burn Sita series right there and this is the Hanen Mule watercolor postcard wouldn't this be a nice postcard to send? I think so and add something there, a message maybe but yes, definitely over here, um, a couple of markers deep. Is this a marker? Hmm. But definitely the Copic marker uh, bleed through a bit. But now I want to do a little arting session with um, some of these supplies and maybe one of these sketchbooks. Um, this is um, a lithograph. Uh, done by Paul Bertham, a uh, French painter, and this is a artwork inspired by Queen Wilhelmina from the Netherlands. And I just found out because of this unboxing that she actually, I think, was a founder of the Royal Talents um, brand. So um, I'm gonna use this also as kind of like a, a way to pick the are so the markers and the colors that I want to use for my rendition of this um, artwork. So what do you guys think? Let's do this. <laughs> After a few moments of thinking, I think I'm going to use the Royal Talents sketchbook. Uh, not only because it's the brand inspired by this queen, but also because I think it will fit best uh, this 
color of paper. Um, now in terms of color palette, um, I don't think I'm going to use all of these colors. Uh, I'm going to use a combination of kind of like maybe this orange with this blue and a bit of the green with the... Let me just mark it. So these, 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 and this color, maybe some of that. And for line work, um, let me just use these pencil in, in combination to these little tiny <laughs> current dash uh, color pencil I, I should have at least a couple of more of these but I, I will have to look for them um, but yes first things first I wanted to color swatch the um, the markers that I want to use and I forgot this one the sharpie highlighter um, just so that I can remember what I use. Um, also, before I forget, I think I went over this on a previous video a while ago when I got these and I unboxed these and color swatched these uh, Eddie and Acrylics, but I just opened a new one because this one, yeah, it's not looking that great. It still has some ink, but as you can see here, like the little this section over here, the pointy section right there, uh, I ruined it as soon as I started using it because, let me just show you. So when you first get this marker and then you want the color to start working, so you shake it and then you are supposed to be pressing it. So the problem is when you start pressing it, when I press it first, all my how can I say this? All my strength went to this corner right here instead of the whole marker. So I will just recommend you to, you know, when you do this, when you press, to press more towards here rather than the other pointy section, just so that you avoid having this problem right there. Uh, I still love working with this marker regardless, but if you want to do some detail, um, it definitely helps having that pointy nib right there. That's all. <laughs> okay, I think for this, I'm going to have it as a time lapse or maybe a mix of things uh, because otherwise this video is going to be super long. So what I'm going to do is start with a sketch of the piece right there um, hmm. or maybe I'm just going to start placing colors by the way look at my fingers isn't this fun <laughs> um, yeah I think I'm just going to color each of the areas that I want to place uh, a specific uh, color and then after that, I'm going to add the line work. Yeah, let's move. let me do that.
and here it is um i definitely like the color combination i didn't use one of the markers this one which i really wanted to use i don't know if i can still add it because i'm really happy with these um but yes i did use all of the rest of the markers and color pencils in these um black wing uh, this is the one that i used to make the pre the um, the main sketch i guess uh or line work um at the very beginning i didn't really like how <laughs> the face was coming on the nose and here on the chin i didn't think that it captured the essence of the um, original piece so i did erase a bit uh, but after that i really felt comfortable with whatever was happening here even though the um, the tulips were of place or are of place as well as the neck like this should be a little bit more here on the left i do like the composition and i did feel that a, a tulip was missing so i added one more here um but overall i I think I captured the essence of of the piece, giving it a little bit of a twist in my take on it. So what do you guys think? Um, let me just check over here. As you can see, this is a, even though it's thin, it's not quite thin. It's, it's, it's actually a very um, beautiful paper to work on. Um, it really takes well these markers for sure. Um, like I showed you before, uh, this also works with uh, acrylic as well as wash. I wouldn't try watercolor, maybe a little bit of it, but um, but definitely wash and acrylic and, and markers, um, as well as uh, gelatos, for example. Um, but yes, so this is again the uh, Royal Talents um, sketchbook. And I really like, uh, how this um, little color uh, and um, sketch study uh, inspired by these artists uh, worked out. So what do you guys think? Um, let me know in, your, in the comments below and let me know if you have any of these sketchbooks. Uh, let me bring them back. Here we have them. Uh, this is the watercolor postcard by Hane Mule, and this is the Stillman and Burn sketchbook, and this is the Royal Talents one. I really like this art in session that we had here, as well as this unboxing. Let me know if you were able to take advantage of uh, Art Snacks um, sales event for paper. Again, the code is PaperFest2023, and that works until the end of September, September 30th. So. Uh, this is all for now. Thanks again for joining me today. Bye-bye